but you inject something, you inject the solvent, which considered by the simulation as gas, in this case, you inject it on March 2024, and it results in short or quick, short period of production increase. But if you look at it from the cumulative perspective, I think the result will be quite significant. So if you just perform decline curve analysis to expand or to extrapolate the production rate without solvent injection, then maybe it will decrease quite fast there. But since you inject solvent, you have oil gain. Okay, so you can achieve oil total at the end of the simulation period 2.43 million stock number per day. Okay, so that's about it. And we can also check calculated here. We have new parameter here for solvent. Okay, so with all keywords that we have, we can model, we can simulate the distribution of the, the solvent, and we can also predict the parameter of the solvent. Okay. And one per viscosity. So one divided by viscosity resulting in high value 72 59 right because the viscosity of the the solvent is quite slow quite small and also real perm of the solvent okay real perm of water real perm of oil real perm of gas real perm of solvent you can also have the component mass density. Okay. And let's check, for example, yeah, you have production well and injector there. Let's say if we have this one and go to 2D and then let's check or let's make cross section okay I select point selection click on this one and that one okay close and here you open this one and then cross section you have fit if you go to the first time step okay it's like this and then we move next time step okay we have production well first Okay, and then, okay, then we have new injector there, you can see the change, right, there, because we inject the solvent. Okay, and you can see like the solvent flow towards the production because of the drainage, right? Because the, the, the producer draining the fluid from the reservoir, that's why you have solvent flow towards the producer. Okay, so that's it. And then what else we can show? As usual, graphs, oil flow rate okay oil flow rate and then the gas injection rate you can also show the oil total and then gas injection total okay again note the bump here we have bump on the oil production rate resulting from the solvent injection and you can also go to graphs template Okay, and in this case, okay, wells, we can show 
or maybe graphs solvent rate yeah we can also show you the solvent rate okay and do we have specifically solvent injection rate there so yeah i said earlier that gas or solvent is considered as gas which is true but i think it's more interesting if you can show just directly the solvent rate instead of gas injection rate okay so you can see you inject some but you produce some so there will be oil loss or solvent loss 